you blind? Maybe I drive better if you shut the hell up. I think you're actually aiming for these people. the car. Police. I find one goddamn thing. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? You're my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. Police emergency, out of the car. You sure you're a cop? How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? So hard, was it? Just because we're in you. Look out! Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't, and that's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of
laughed so goddamn hard about that. Want me to keep tabs on the path of destruction you're creating? It might come in handy at your trial. Sorry, sir. Police officer, I need your car. Buster. Fine, but if the skipper sees us driving around in this, we're dead. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You ready, tough guy? That was a very... Ralph, you all right? I'm fine, I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner, and leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. sons of bitches get in this line now before i lose my temper excuse me sergeant but excuse me fuck you you say another word and i'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig some of us are here for i know why you're here ass wipe i'm having a bad day private some people don't seem to want to get on this bus I didn't ask for your help he didn't ask for your help can you believe this guy who are you two abbott and costello we're here for ocs sergeant so it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for ocs God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? 
OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Cole, a city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. to do. Slow. Back up will be here soon. Why is nobody covering me? LAPD, put down your weapon. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a Not chance a to- chance, copper! He comes to Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Should be all clear. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity 
Comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for... Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LSGD! You can go screw yourself. Why, you... Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, my brother. Jesus, son! Watch your fire! Don't want to do this, Wendell. Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! You gotta be kidding! But you fucking asked for it! Don't worry, I'm going back inside! I've done my time! You assholes already screwed me once! It's over, Bowers! Bowers, there's nowhere left to go. Ah! Ah! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Ah! What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, Two, leadership, Donahoe. Eight, Franklin, seven, Merrill, six, Kowalski, six, Weiss, five, Hudson, five, Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now!